Hello everybody and welcome to this OBS Studio tutorial by Media Equipped. My name is Ben and I'm going to be showing you through all of the incredible ins and outs of this application. Whether you want to stream to an online platform like Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, or you just want to use the application to record your system processes, I'll be showing you everything there is to do with OBS Studio. This course will be broken up into three main sections. You'll have the basic section, the intermediate section, and the advanced section. The basic section will be for those who have never really opened OBS Studio before. I'll be showing you around the software, how to navigate the interface and what each menu does. And we'll also be showing you how to set up a very basic stream layout. At the end of the basic section, you should be able to go live to your viewers, albeit with quite a basic setup. Following the basics comes the intermediate section. Now, this is where your streaming will really start to take on a mind of its own. We'll be looking into image and audio filters, transitions, widgets, and hotkeys, all of the things that are gonna make your streams easier to run and much better to watch for your viewers. You'll also start to learn about where OBS stands on the entire market of streaming software and what other alternatives there are and why they don't quite hit home as much as OBS Studio. In the advanced section of the course, you are going to start becoming a master of OBS Studio. We'll start looking into external plugins, features that aren't already in the software that you need to install yourself. We'll take a look into capture cards, little machines that help you take imagery and audio from your consoles, such as PlayStations and Xboxes, and actually carry that video over into OBS Studio to stream to your viewers. And we'll also be looking at creating your own overlays. Sure, there's a huge back catalog of overlays you can use from the internet, but if you can find out how to create your own, you are one step further to being more unique, more original than your competition. On top of these three main sections of the course, we'll also be looking at the brother application of OBS Studio, which is Streamlabs OBS, and what are the benefits and disadvantages of using that. And we'll also be looking into troubleshooting issues that occur sometimes on OBS Studio and how to fix them. All in all, this course provides you with all of the tools that you need to become a streaming master. Be sure to head over to the course's homepage to check out the entire topic list for the tutorials. And I look forward to guiding you on your OBS Studio journey very, very soon.